Hey everyone, Dustin Weber. It's December 20th, 2022. Let's see what we get. We open up the loop. I already did loop one, loop two. We're on loop three. John the Baptist prepares the way. It's now the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius, the Roman emperor. Pont Pontius Pilati was governor over Judea, Judea, Judea. Herod Antipas was ruler over Galilee. His brother Philip was ruler over Eturia and Trachonitis. Lysanias was ruler over Abilene, Abilene. Annas and Ca Caiaphas were the high priests. At this time, a message from God came to John, son of Zechariah, who was living in the wilderness. Then John went from place to place on both sides of the Jordan River, preaching that people should be baptized to show that they have had repented of their sins and turned to God to be forgiven. Isaiah had spoken of John when he said, He is a voice shouting in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord's coming. Clear the road for him. The valleys will be filled and the mountains and hills made level. The curves will be straightened and the rough places made smooth. And then all people will see the salvation sent from God. When the crowds came to John for baptism, he said, You brought of snakes. Who warned you to flee the coming wrath? Prove by the way you live that you have repented of your sins and turned to God. Don't just say to each other, we're safe, for we are descendants of Abraham. That means nothing, for I tell you, God can create children of Abraham from these very stones. Even now the tax of God, the axe of God's judgment is poised, ready to serve, sever the roots of the trees. Yes, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down in the throne and thrown into the fire. The crowds asked, what should we do? John replied, if you, okay, hold up. We're going to back up a second. Now the stones, we're each a stone in God's house. Okay, look at it that way. And it does, it does talk like that in other chapters. Okay, and then we're, the roots, the good fruit that's produced on the tree is the people that are believing in God and Jesus and are living righteously to the best of their ability and have repented. And the people that aren't producing the good fruit, which is sinners, okay, are, are going to be put into the furnace, which is hell. The crowds asked, what should we do? John replied, if you have two shirts, give one to the poor. If you have food, share it with those who are hungry. Even corrupt tax collectors came to be baptized and asked, Teacher, teacher what should we do? He replied, Collect no more taxes than the governor, government requires. What should we do? asked some, some soldiers. John replied, Don't extort money or make false accusations, and be content with your pay. Everyone is, was expecting the Messiah to come soon, and they were eager to know whether John might be the Messiah. John answered their questions by saying, I baptize you with water, but someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I am not even worthy to be his slave and untie the straps of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Okay, say la, we're going to stop for a second. When you accept Jesus Christ in your heart and you repent for your sins and accept that he died on the cross for your sins, when you do that at that point and you accept to have God lead your life, okay, in everyday things that you do throughout your day, the Holy Spirit, which is your connections to the heavens and to Jesus and to God, it's the energies of the heavens coming into you, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to call it, it's our connection to the heavens right now before they come. And it is the, the third eye, if you will, of God. 
and it's it's right there in the brain and they've done studies on it where where the religious part of your brain wakens up okay and you will feel it a lot more he is ready to separate the chafe from the wheat with his winnowing fork then he will clean up the threshing area, gathering the wheat into his barn, but burning the chafe with never-ending fire. Okay, that's that's the parable of the great harvest, judgment. The, once again, the chafe is the the sinners, which will be burned off the face of the earth, and the good seed is the people that believe in Jesus and God. John used many such warnings as he announced the good news to the people. John also publicly criticized Herod Antipas, Antipas the ruler of Galilee, for marrying Her Herodias, his brother's wife, and for many other wrongs he had done. So Herod put John in prison, adding this sin to his many others. The Baptism of Jesus One day when the crowds were being baptized, Jesus himself was baptized. As he was praying, the heavens opened, and the Holy Spirit in bodily form descended on him like a dove. And a voice from heaven said, You are my dearly beloved, son, my dearly loved Son, and you bring me great joy. The Ancestors of Jesus Jesus was about 30 years old when he began his public ministry. Which, okay, this, this one is for me. I was 30 years old when I began reading. There's a lot more that goes to that story, but we're not going to explain that right now. I've been reading It'll Be Six Years This Christmas. Jesus was about 30 years old when he began his public ministry. Jesus was known as the son of Joseph. Joseph was the son of Heli. Heli was, was the son of Mathath. Mathat. Mathat was the son of Levi. Levi was the son of Melchi. Melchi. Melchi was the son of Janai. Janai was the son of Joseph. Joseph was the son of Mattathias. Mattathias was the son of Amos. Amos was the son of Nahum. Nahum was the son of El Esli. Esli. Esli was the son of Nagai. Nagai was the son of Maath. Maath was the son of Mattathias. Mattathias was the son of Semien. Ooh, we got a whole list. Semien was the son of Josek. Josek was the son of Joda. Joda was the son of Joanan. Joanan was the son of Risa. Risa was the son of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel was the son of Shealtiel. Shealtiel was the son of Neri. Neri was the son of Melchi. Melchi. Melchi was the son of Adi. Adi, Adi was the son of Kosam. Kosam was the son of Elmadam. Elmadam was the son of Ur. Ur was the son of jo Joshua. Joshua was the son of Eliezer. Eliezer was the son of Joram. Now, Joshua and Eliezer were high priests. We're going to stop there for a second. Okay, let's continue. Eliezer was the son of Joram. And Joram was also a priest. Joram was the son of Mathot. Mathot was the son of Levi. Levi was the son of Simeon. And now, Levite, the Levite. Uh, Levi here would be the Levite clan, which was the Levites, which worshipped at the temple of God, the tabernacle. Levi was the son of Simeon. Simeon was the son of Judah. Judah was the son of Joseph. Joseph was the son of Jonam. Jonam was the son of Eliakim. Eliakim was the son of Meliah. Meliah was the son of Mena. Mena was the son of Metatha. Metatha was the son of Nathan. Nathan was the son of David. David was the son of Jesse. Jesse was the son of Obed. Obed was the son of Boaz. Boaz was the son of Solomon. Solomon was the son of Nashon. Nashon was the son of Aminadab. Aminadab was the son of Adnan. Adnan was the son. Now, that, now we're getting close to where it was the exile to the Babylonians. And the Babylonians took over Jerusalem. Aminadab was the son of Admin. Admin was the son of Arni. Arni was the son of Hezron. Hezron was the son of Perez. Perez was the son of Judah. Judah was the son of Jacob. Jacob was the son of Isaac. 
Now this is where we have the Ooh, that's the Exodus of Egypt. Jacob was the son of Isaac. Isaac was the son of Abraham. Abraham was the son of Terah. Terah was the son of Nahor. Nahor was the son of... Sh oh, so we're... We're going backwards. Okay, correct. Whew. Jacob was the son of Isaac. Isaac was the son of Abraham. Abraham was the son of Terah. Terah was the son of Nahor. Nahor was the son of Sarug. Sarug was the son of Ru. Ru was the son of Peleg. Peleg was the son of Eber. Take my middle name and my last name, and it's the way new Eber. It means the way new prophet. And my last name is Weber. Eber is the son of Shalah. Shalah was the son of Cainan. Cainan was Cainan was the son of Arphaxad. Arphaxad was the son of Shem. Shem was the son of Noah. Noah was the son of Lamech. Lamech was the son of Methuselah. Methuselah was the son of Enoch. Enoch was the son of Jared. Jared was the son of Mahalalel. Mahalalel was the son of Kenan. Kenan was the son of Enosh. Enosh was the son of Seth. Seth was the son of Adam. Adam was the son of God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.